Oh my goodness god, what the heck is this? What is this? This guy's like a, a gimp, and then this guy's over here just getting off with his big old pot belly drinking beers like it's like some sort of summer vacation. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to 2018. I'm your host, the Birdman, Otis Falcon. This is actually my first video being recorded this year, so I hope you have a great year. I hope 2017 was good for you. If it was good for you, I hope you have a better 2018. If it wasn't that great for you, then I hope that things turn around and this will be an even better year for you. Because that's what we do, you know, we always strive to have a better year every single time. And we're playing some shelter to begin with. Um, we're in day number 28, it does seem, so we should have Papa rolling up on us here pretty, pretty soon. And as you can see, we have to survive up to day 50. We're over halfway the limit there. Things are looking pretty good as well, so let's see what we got to do here today. Coley Cole! Let's have you come on down over here and craft some items for us. Now, you guys told me last time with the shotgun, it missed because I did not load the shotgun. Apparently, I put the tripwire down, which is great. But you're also supposed to load it, Falcon, you dingus. So, oop. My bad. See, this is how little I'm aware of the traps. I've never really used them in the past. So, this right here, this new mode, it's kind of challenging me to actually use the traps for one. So, we have to not only put the tripwire down, but we're also supposed to load the gun up. So, I guess that makes perfect sense, right? Um, speaking of which, let's go ahead and have Cole make one more of those over here. Diane, the wife, is over here fixing the upper filters because they're not looking too great. Now, the other thing I want to do is... For this, I do need a light bulb. I might be able to destroy this light bulb over here, probably. Because what I want to do is I want to make the light where the workbench is, is at. You guys told me if I put the light over there, I would build faster, and that's true. Anywhere there's light, you do stuff a lot faster in that area, right? So that's something I should kind of look forward to here. So how about with coal? Let's go into... Let's see, can I... How do I deconstruct something? Can I deconstruct this light? No, I could only disable it. So I guess I would... I can't deconstruct anything. I would have to just... Uh, man. That's a big old problem. We need a light bulb. So next time Papa's round, we're gonna try to grab a light bulb from one of his little runs so we can make a light over here and be done with that. Speaking of which, we have some dog poo poo right here. That's no good. Coley, Cole, do me a favor. Clean the shelter really quickly. Wife, put that suit away. And let's have you get some water. And get some sleep, because you're really tired. Other than that, I think things are, things are going pretty good, though. I mean, so far we've held it off the raids just fine. And now that I know about the freaking trap being worked properly, we should be able to, you know, blast some dudes a lot easier that way as well. Now, we found out that the bosses will come after you no matter what. So if we get raided, the raiders will go after your items, bosses come after you regardless of which. So what I'm thinking we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving all the way down here for the fences and have like a bunch of traps along the way. So what I'm thinking we do is if we get another shotgun, we can make another trap like somewhere over here or here technically or somewhere down here. It's either going to be this level or that one because if I'm going to run away all the way down to the bottom, Bosses will be coming down this way, this way, so along the way, we want them to get basically shot up or trapped on, right? One or the other. Diana, I thought I told you to go to sleep. Go to sleep. And Cole, you're cleaning the poo-poo. Everything's fine. Fill that bowl up of this dog that's constantly over here. Freaking look, he even doodled all the way over there. Look at this over here. Yo, yo. There's this freaking dog. Absolutely no matters. Who potty trained you? Then again, it's not like we have like a place for him to poop here. We should. I'm not sure why we haven't given this this dog, like, a, a dog poo-poo litter area, you know? There should be an item for that so the dog can just poop around wherever he wants to. Go to that litter, squad, do your business, and leave us alone. But no, he just poops all over the place that he wants to. It's amazing. Alright, Nicole, you're done. Let's have you start training and training a bit more. Now, the other thing we're missing is one piece of leather for the extra vest. Now, here's two things we could do. Number one, this is a, a tip from you guys, Falcon. Deconstruct one of the bags and you'll get leather and you can make your second vest or since we're in day number 30 just about Papa should be rolling up pretty soon Which means that we'll more than likely Hopefully get some leather that way and make myself my second vest So I do I want two punching bags or just one I think I want to keep two so that I can have them train back and forth and not have to wait every single moment So I think that's what we'll do. Let's have you train here Cole's just too tired to train at this point, so let's have him sleep. And Diane, you train on that one afterwards. Water is looking good. Food's looking fine. Oh yeah, people told me as well that rats might be eating my food. Which, um, you know, if you don't have the cat, 
rats will eat your food? I haven't seen like a, a situation where, if, do you guys actually see the rats on the map? I mean, I'm usually paying attention to everything that's going on the screen, I'm also talking, so I obviously miss things that are really right there in front of me. But how do I tell there's a freaking rat eating my food? Because if there's a rat eating my food, that rat's gotta go down. How dare that rat come in here and, and you know, take my food away is my big question. Because we're at 412 at the moment, the only time I usually eat is for us or to feed the dog, which again, the freaking bowl's empty too. I don't know about that one. I mean, I could make some rat traps. Uh, should I make one of those? Like, how, how, let's see, how long would that, I mean, how much would that cost me? Wood, spring, and hinge. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay. We'll, we'll set one of these up just for the hell of it. And see if this is a really rat's run. If there's rats around, then obviously one of them will be trapped, right? So we'll place one. <laughs> I guess right there, cool. And after you're done, go fill that bowl up again because, you know, that freaking dog's always constantly eating. He has no concept of, you know, just waiting for other people to... I mean, he eats constantly every single moment, it seems, right? Like, how many times do I fill that bowl up in a day? Like, my people, they'll eat, like, once a day. This guy's over here constantly just chomping down, chomping down. Cole increased their intelligence by making the rat trap. How about that? Now, doggy, don't get trapped in the rat trap, okay? That's not... Get away from there, dog. Okay, he just went over there and he checked it out. Wanted to make sure things were running fine. Okay. So that's all done. Cool. Diane's sleeping. You're fine. Let's have you train a bit. I'm, I'm more than likely sure that we'll get day 30 before another raid shows up. So at this point, all we gotta do is wait for the father to pop in here and be like, Hey! Hey, I'm back now. And speaking of the father, too, my other question here is gonna be... The um, last couple of fights that we've had, we have not included a dog. But you guys have told me that the dog can be used in combat. I used to use him in combat all the time when I used to go out and scavenge my other runs, but never in the base. I'm not sure how you use him in the freaking base. I gotta figure that out, apparently, too. Cole, you're tired again? Wow, go to sleep, dude. Diane, I gotta do all the pooping and the showering in the world. People told me to use the soap as well. I guess I'll use it. I mean, there's no other reason not to. Apparently, if you wash with soap, they get, you know, dirty. A lot slower than they normally would otherwise. I mean, I never really run into that problem. Like, I'm not over here struggling for water. Because it's constantly raining all the time. But, sure, we'll give it a try as well. Look at that dog fool. That dog bowl's empty yet again. Alrighty. You're doing your thing over here. Right, you gotta shower afterwards. Coley, Cole, you gotta do the same thing here pretty soon, huh? Alright, look. Once again, go fill that bowl up. And use the toilet. And Diane, once you're ready to go, let's have you go back to training here a bit more as well. Okay, so she took a, a bath with, or took a shower with the soap. I'm gonna give the same privilege to Cole as well. Use that soap. Speaking of which, how much soap do we have? Um, seven more to go. We'll probably use one right now, so we'll have six left over. I mean, it's not like I have a lot of buns of it, so it's not really big. Look at that dog eating again, I told you. Constantly freaking eating. Uh, that's fine. Right now, Papa should be showing up. Dog, are you whining? No, you're fine. Thought he was whining there for a second. Be like, dude, he just ate right now. Relax. Go to sleep. And Cole, you're fine. Go over here to train. Here we go. So day number 30. This will be the third visit from the father. We need two more to go. We know we have two more bosses left over. The big buff woman. And then the boss. The, I, I guess, like, the main boss of that crew. I just made it back. It's so good to see your faces again. Patrick, you're bleeding. Your arm. It's nothing. Don't worry. Just a cut. It's getting harder to move around out there. Let me tell you about it. Oh, things are getting difficult for Patrick too, huh? After talking to another traveler, he confirmed there were still supplies in the area. I continued on. You gonna believe anybody you run into? Oh yeah, there's this over here. Oh sure, obviously this guy cannot be lying to me. Um, let's see. I guess we'll go over to this big area. Since we haven't pillaged that one just yet. It looks like there might be a lot of stuff here, too. Supermarket, we have the medium office, complex, church, school, and florist. Hmm. Well, none of those seem too intriguing to me, but let's go ahead and start off with the... Ah, let's go with the... Ah, the florist, I guess. Why not? Here is the leather we need for the, the vest, so we're good on that. Valves, we have a lot of them. Nylon, we need for traps and also for medkits, so I'll take that. 60 of that. I need a light bulb too for the light. Let's go over to 
Office complex, I will take that, that, that. Motors, I think we do need for something else as well. Pipes always useful. Med kit as well. We're not breaking stuff now, don't need that. Transistors would be for the upgrades to some of the filters or whatever. Let's go to the school now. Motor, take that, take that, take that. No light bulbs thus far, huh? Of course, when I need something, it doesn't show up. You will be for bombs, so that's always useful. Bleeding, sure, why not? Church or supermarket, let's go to the, I guess, the church. Because for supermarket, we food, right? I don't think we need that. Wow, I'm surprised we actually found a rifle. <laughs> With a rifle, I managed at the church. That's the last place I really thought I would have looked for guns, but there you have it. I let my guard down on the road and came across this guy. A complete maniac. Oh, this might, uh, this might actually explain the injury here. Oh my goodness, God, what the heck is this? What is this? This guy's like a, a gimp. And then this guy's over here just getting off with his big old pot belly drinking beers like it's like some sort of summer vacation. Henry! Oh, hello. You look strong. Do you see my slave here? Well, I'd like you to fight it. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck's happening? What? Why, why would I do that? For my entertainment, silly. There's a prize in it for you, but only if you really heard it. Do you accept? Oh, I'm always in it for prizes, man, but to purposely attack another dude, I only have a pipe on me. What do I expect from this guy? I feel like if I fight the slave, I'm giving in to their requests, and they're obviously bad people. The morally correct thing to do here would leave, right? Ah, let's do it. <laughs> Whatever. What? What? Why does Henry have the portrait of the buff lady? Who is one of the bosses? Okay, I'm confused about that, but so be it. Um, do you have any items on- Well, I, I, could, I could heal myself if I get hurt, I guess, so there's that. Let's go with the melee here. Good. Good. Bleeding already, too? Very good start. Very good start. What is this gonna do? Just punch me? And we blocked it! Good job, Patrick. Alrighty, this should be a fairly easy fight. See, my concern was this guy's gonna punch me to death or something, but, um... He should be dying from the bleeding next turn? Yep. Well, that felt too easy. Like, I feel like there's going to be probably some sort of consequence for this because it felt too easy. Where's my reward? Was I supposed to just hurt him, not kill him? Well, I know. I'm confused now. All right, we'll continue. Small office complex. I'm fairly confused about that one, but, uh, I mean, we survived. I guess that's what really counts here, right? Let's check out the small factory. Boom, 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 boom. Medium house. Lumber yard would be very good. So I'll take that, that. Ooh, another gun too. Excellent. We have the two top guns now. Medium house for school. Let's go with the medium house this time around. Okay, take this. More bullets is always good to see. I then decided to head back to the shelter and drop off the supplies. What about the, the, the gimp? A group of kids jumped me on the road. They were totally feral. What? Well, what do you mean a group of- oh my goodness, gotta have to fight kids now? Oh, I'm not sure if I can do this, man. An adult, an adult, bad man, bad man, you must pay for being old, you broke our world. Uh, well, what are you kids talking about? Get him, destroy the bad adult man, beat him. I don't want to hurt you, you're just kids, I want to attack you. Should I just escape? I have a feeling that if I fail this escape, they're going to probably beat me down pretty badly. Please get away, dude. Please get away, get away, get away, get away. Got away, okay. I feel like that was the right choice, right? I don't feel comfortable killing kids, even if they're like feral and they want to destroy my life. I couldn't do it, man. I'm a good person. They're kids. Take everything over here. Alrighty. Well, now we should have enough for the next bulletproof vest, which is fine. Stay strong, the both of you. I'll be back in 10 days' time. Dog, are you whining because you're hungry? Relax, dog. We're talking to the papa right now. Alrighty. Well, that was it. What the heck's happening over here? No charge? Oh. Oh, that's no good. Um, add fuel. Twice. That defibrillator needs to be up and running. In case we get knocked out, we have a... A way to get out of that one. Phil, dog is starving. Dude, I just feel... How much do you eat every single moment? Telling you about this dog, constantly eating. Add more fuel one more time and that's gonna be fine. Alright, cool. 
Now with that done, let's come on down over here and get myself my, my last bulletproof vest. Perfect. We now have two of them for both of the family members. That's fine. So craft that as well. And after we're done with that, we'll also take another perusal and see what else is available for us to build. Yeah, dog, you'll get your food pretty soon, all right? I know. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, we didn't get a, uh, one freaking bulb for the light. Man. <laughs> I just wanted to build stuff down here a bit faster, but I guess I'm gonna have to wait. Is he still waiting for more food? Dog, you just ate right now. Literally just ate. Okay, I can't feed you right now. I got stuff to build, right? Let's see here. So, we got the bulletproof vest, which is great. Anything else over here that seems to stand out? Another excellent pipe bomb would be good. We have the cordite for it. We have the wiring for it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? The door. Upgrade this door. There we have it now. Perfect. So both the doors are now reinforced, meaning we have a lot of time to set our traps before we get raided. Now, unfortunately, we get a shotgun, so we will not be able to set up the other traps. So we might have to do another couple of more spite ones along the way. And I guess we could do another one, like, right here. I wanted to put the shot going here, but it's going to have to wait. I guess we could always move these afterwards, right? So let's go to rearrange shelter. You. Here. And then confirm. And then craft item. I'll have you do another spike trap, which is going to be... Down here. Rope, metal, pipes. Luckily, we have a lot of that, so that's cool. Place that right over here. Okay. Diane, you're up and running now, too. Um, the filter should still be fine. The door is going to be pretty good. Uh, let's have you train a bit more. And then we'll probably have to go and clean some dog poop again. Oh yeah, what happened to the rat trap? It's still there. Apparently four more uses. So we haven't caught any rats, so... I don't know. People told me that rats were eating my food. I, I never felt that was the case, but... I don't know. That's what I read. I gave you guys the benefit of that. Was I being trolled? Did you troll the Falkman? If you trolled the Falkman, then good on you. I normally praise people when they fool me in games. Like, I don't want you guys to do it constantly because it might actually hinder my... my continuation going forward. But on occasion, a small, innocent troll like that, it's fine. I'll accept. Alrighty. Um, let's see. How about we make yet another one of those two because we have the items for it. And you're gonna come down... over here. And again, we're making the little pathway all the way down in case the boss has to chase us. Go down all the way down here. And we'll be fine. After that, you should probably get some sleep, too, I would say. Diane, coming up in your sleep pretty soon. But you could probably do one more training session and sleep. And we have to go clean the poop, as I mentioned. Oh, uh, 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 the old constant pooping as well. Dog, you better not be hungry now. How, how you doing? He's fine, apparently. I'm getting his HP back. Now, Colson will probably have to get some water afterwards. So drink some water here. Let's go fill this dog bowl up one more time. And here's my attack. Two people. Can two people get through these doors, I wonder? One person cannot do it, obviously. Two might actually have a chance. However, two people don't really worry me too much in a fight. Like, that's something we should be able to do. Now, before... Let's arm this trap, and let's arm this trap as well. Can they get through those doors, I wonder? Now, these people will go directly to the um, items. They won't come after us. So I'm thinking the shotgun would even arm it for this one. We want to save the shotgun shells for the bosses who obviously want to kill me. These guys, what they're looking for to do is just to steal from me. Which, again, we have a lot of food and water, so it's not really too big of a deal. They got through one door. Fill this dog bowl while you're at it. They got through all doors. Oh, God. Okay, now get down, get down, get down. One of them got hurt. All right, one of them's dead already. You know, at this point... <laughs> yes! It finally worked! We actually killed all of them this time around. I'm excited about that. Let's go over here and fix these doors now. You go ahead and fix that one too. Let me do this really quickly to stop the beeping. Just... No, not you. Move out of the way momentarily. Close that door. Thank you. The beeping drives me a bit crazy. You fix that momentarily. Just a little bit. There it is. Okay. Um, get your water and go back to fixing that one over here. And what are you doing afterwards? Um, you should probably start incinerating the bodies. And we used up three traps just now. Actually, four. Because all four of them landed. So we need four more trip wires, which is something Cole will do afterwards after you're done with that door. Come on down over here. Craft items. Make a couple of those. Now let's see here. We have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that still beeps when you open the freaking door, huh? 
Oh well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need nine trip wires for that alone, and then we need ten in the shell for the shotgun. So we're gonna have to make a couple of extra trip wires now, especially if we're expanding our defenses down the line. So that's fine. The beeping just drives me nuts, man. There's no reason for you to beep. We got under control. Hurry up, Cole. Get that done already. Got it. There you go. Perfect. You need to make the trip wires now, right? So if you're doing that, go ahead and make another one. Diane, incinerate that body too. Uh, what's wrong with this trap over here? How do I get this to go back up? Can I get that to go back up? Disarmed. I guess it'll probably go back up after the next raid, maybe? Don't want to deconstruct it, obviously. Yeah, maybe after the next raid it'll probably just go back up and we have to just arm it again, more than likely. I assume that's the case over here. Um, let's see, you have to get some rest, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 let's just get that poo, poo out of the way, as I mentioned. Clean shelter. And coal. Just make a couple more of those here. Once again, we have to feed that freaking dog yet again. Another one. How are we doing items here? Down to eight nylon. Again, we need the nylons for the med kits, but we have 12 med kits. I believe 12 is going to be pretty good for us to survive. We do have the vest anyway. It's going to be pretty difficult for somebody to kill us in this run at this point, I think. I don't want to get ahead of myself here and say it's um, game over, we've won. Because I'm not sure what the last few days is going to actually entail of. So far, it's been manageable. But it could get pretty bad pretty soon for all I know. So I don't want to get too ahead of myself over here and start bragging. Getting cocky, because you know what happens when the Birdman gets cocky, you know? RNG Jesus happens. And RNG Jesus is not playing around with me most of the time. Let's have some sleep. And that'll be it. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the old Shelter Surrounded gameplay. Uh, or game mode, I should say. Uh, speaking of which, the big update to the game should also be this year. I'm not sure early in the year, middle of the year. I hope early. They've teased that it's almost done. So once that's in or once that's implemented, we'll jump into that game mode, do a legit run from beginning till end with all the new stuff they're going to be adding, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited for the mutants, the stuff that I've seen in the GIFs and the... Not... GIFs. Not GIFs, but GIFs. On the GIFs and their images and their devlog, they've shown some really cool stuff with the new update. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will catch you next time. And again, have a great 2018.